<laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> That's the shorts, man. Hey guys, so today I'm doing a thrift haul with none other than my boyfriend! Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm finally here on the channel. Yeah, so we have quite the thick thrift haul today. We also have a few finds from Urban Outfitters that we're going to show you guys. So, let's get started. Alright, so first up, we got a pair of green tops. Mine is a long sleeve polo from Polo Ralph Lauren. I really like this top because you can wear it like casually, you can wear it like dressing up, so it's really versatile. Mine is a Tommy Hilfiger polo. He thought this was really ugly. I love it. I like how like the deep the green is and the way that I plan on styling this is just tucking it into some like light wash jeans and get a little shoelace, some hot mom vibes. And there it is. <laughs> on to the next one. <laughs> so for this next one, I also found another Tommy Hilfiger top and it's a light gray with some white outlining and again it just has a simple little logo on it. it gives me the same vibes as the other one, I'd style it the same way. So I got this t-shirt, it's a, it's a UVA shirt but it says Virginia. I don't go to UVA but I live in Virginia. The shirt's really heavy duty and like thick. Play on the title. Ooh. Next up, I thrifted this Michigan t-shirt. I just really like the colors of the University of Michigan. I plan on wearing this with light wash denim. Also, it has this really cool graphic on the back. And then for me, this one just gave me really good summer vibes. I wasn't sure about the green at first, but once I had it with like the light wash denim, I thought it was really nice. I think it's just somebody's staff t-shirt. Thanks for donating it. So this thrift is a little bit older. It is a Coca-Cola graphic tee with Japanese text on it. It's really oversized, so I like to tuck this one in. So again, light wash. So I picked up this from the thrift. It's a Tiger Gold Medal t-shirt. Apparently, it's a Vietnamese beer, but like, don't quote me on that. Someone just told me that. <laughs> but I just really like the font. It's also on the back. And yeah, the colors just are really nice. and. I get a lot of compliments when I wear it. And what's really nice is that I have so much clothes now because not only mine, <laughs> but these. All right, so next up, I picked up this Colorado Rockies t-shirt. It's just really simple. I like the I like the purple. Purple's my favorite color. This is mine. It's really ugly, but it's like cute ugly to me. It just says land of the carefree, a cute little wiener dog and word I cannot pronounce. It's kind of like your basic white tee. I can just kind of put it with anything, even though I don't know what's going on on it. This was a large awkward, like, I think it's like a child size large, cause it's like an awkward fit. And I just, I just cut it and also rolled up the sleeves cause I kind of style it like it's styled this way. This guy got it for me and now I'm wearing it, so. So I got this, uh... Actually, no, you bought this for me too. Oh yeah, aww, that's cute, we didn't even plan that. <laughs> it's just a really cool graphic. I, I love racing culture and like the aesthetic of it. I've never seen a racing shirt in this color and it just gives off very like summery vibes. Next up, we got this Redskins uh, Super Bowl Champs vintage t-shirt. I think it's really cool, I'm a Redskins fan. We, we kind of suck, so it's cool like seeing that score and knowing that we actually won a Super Bowl. I was not alive. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even know it said the score on there. That's so cool. It says the score. It's pretty sick. This is probably one of my favorite ones. It has Katakana written on it. Just look at that cute little cat. I just thought it was a really cool green and the fact that it's embroidered, it was really cool. It was actually a full-on sweatshirt and I decided to crop this one as well. And then it has this graphic design. I think it's like a, a basketball team. I guess like- It's a tournament, I think. Oh basketball tournament. So we just went over our t-shirts, now we're kind of going into more like dressier clothing. Alright, thank you. <laughs> so I went to the PJ section as many a thrifters on YouTube have told me to do. And it's just a nice delicate little piece I can put on jeans. Or I could dress it up if I want to, but I kind of like wearing this one really casual. Perfect for the summer. Also, it has these really pretty lace details in the front here. Actually, it like lines with a little lace detailing too. 
All right, so next up, uh, I bought this nice piece from Urban Outfitters, which is like rare. because I don't really buy clothes from there because it's usually expensive, but <laughs> there's a good Memorial Day sale. So I was able to pick this Revere tee up. Revere tees are like my favorite thing right now, especially in the summer because they're so thin and you can wear it with pants, shorts, you can wear like a necklace. It looks really cool. It's one of my favorite pieces at the moment. I also got the short sleeve button up. It's not quite a, a Revere shirt, but it is a short sleeve shirt and it's thin, so it's really good for the summer. I would wear this tucked in with dress pants that I also bought, so we'll see that later. Just a nice simple piece. And that one was thrifted, right? This one was thrifted, yes, not Urban Outfit. Mm -hmm. For mine, I got this super oversized blouse. I had this vision of having this dressy top that I could either wear like plain down or I could tuck it in, have an open collar here and show more skin here. Okay, so this one is my absolute favorite. This would be a Revere shirt as well. That Billie Eilish swag. Yosa yeah, thinks it's very much her, which I can kind of see for sure. I just wanted to feel special be like, I love being able to walk in my piece of art right here. So unique. Just like the store name. Okay. Grab the booze. Aww. <laughs> Alright, so this is another Revere shirt I bought from Urban Outfitters. Also, this one has like stripes. I really like the orange accent. Really cheap, actually. It was only like 15 bucks, originally like 45. So, yeah, the deals were. Yeah, they were really nice. I don't they look so nice together. So, I'm unfortunately out of tops, but Caitlyn went hard in the paint. <laughs> she got a lot more, so she's gonna show you those. So this is the first one. This is a polo dress, and it's pretty short, but I think that it's really cute to like put on with either, I'm not sure what type of jacket I wanna do yet. I have a fluffy teddy one that I thought about putting it on top of. I've also tried tucking this one in as well, and I think it looks really good as a top. Just have like a more fitted look from my other polos that are like kind of like a little bit looser. This one is from American Apparel. My other dress is actually the opposite of being really bodycon. It's this super oversized jersey from no real team, I don't think. I think it looks really cute with some white sneakers. Contrary to having that tight shirt, I'm, I usually typically like to wear oversized things. Then I have this simple little top, $2. It was like loose on top and tight on the bottom. I just cut it in half. And at first I thought the neckline was a little weird, but I think it makes it look a little more dressy depending on what you're wearing. This is super basic, a little plain top, but it was two bucks. And I just was really proud of myself for finding it, even though it's a simple top, because you could find, probably find these things at like Brandy for like $20 or Urban. And I just got it for two. So I just had to, I'm just proud of that. And then this top is from Uptown Cheapskate. And these things kind of cut my circulation, but it's fine. I just like when it's a soft, Pastel. Yeah, that soft pastel color. This is a cardigan from Urban Outfitters, or would it be a cardigan? I'm not sure. You can make it like a baby cardigan, or it could be a nice scandalous top if you were plain with nothing underneath. You need to tie this little bit here. It was on sale for $9.99 at Urban, and then they had 30% off additionally. So very cheap, could not resist. And it was extra small, so I was nervous, but it's super stretchy, so very comfortable. My last top. Fire. It's a jacket. As uh, I can't speak. You weren't gonna buy this. Yeah. It was a dollar, right? Yeah. <laughs> it had like a rack, and everything on the rack was like a dollar. But all the men's stuff that was good was gone by the time I got there. But fortunately, Caitlin was able to find this. Six yes. Piece. One dollar, guys. One dollar. It has a cute little eight-bit Pikachu, and. It also has Pikachu in the back with the Pokeball. But the reason, like, that really, like, at first, like, I'm not really sure how I feel about these kind of, like, zipper, zip up hoodies. I just don't like the hardware, personally. But then I saw the embroidered of, the, like, the, the, just the legitimate little stitching here, and I was like, okay, like, I have to get this. I love Pokemon. As you can tell here, I'm a big fan. Thanks for convincing me. This baby right here. This is the best thing I found at Urban. I actually wanted this a long time ago at Urban, but it was regular sale, I guess. It was like 90 bucks. Yeah, it was outrageous. I was like, nah, I don't pay for anything like that. We found it in the sale section during Memorial Day. And so it went down to $39.99. And even then I was like, okay, I'm still cheap. I don't want to get it. But I was like, fuck it, whatever, I'm going to get it. And it turned out to be like $20 or 
like sale price. Then they took the discount off that. So I bought this for about $14. That was originally 90. And it's so comfy. It's so, oh, and it's like so squishy. It's the best. The only thing that's like annoying about it is the zipper. Um, it, the zipper is not annoying. To me it is. It's, I literally unzip it I, for her. Te the texture in here tends to get caught up in the zipper. And I just, I struggle, but you know, it's worth it. I feel like a badass bitch in this, so here we are. So now that we've gone over my many tops, we are now gonna do our bottoms. All right, first up for the bottoms, we have these Polo Ralph Lauren dress pants. I wish they said Polo, like, you know, <laughs> on the outside, but they don't. So you, can, you know, you just can... for the subtle flex, but <laughs> it's there. I know I'm wearing it. They're really nice, they're really soft. The fit was amazing, like, they fit my body perfectly. I'll be wearing these a lot. I don't like only wearing dress pants with dressy clothes, like I like wearing them with t-shirts too. I think it adds like a different aesthetic. It's very satisfying when you go to the store and you can find like pants that just fit you just right. Speaking of nice fitting pants, <laughs> I got these nice light wash denim. For me personally, it's so hard finding jeans that like fit the exact way you want them to. So every time I find jeans that fit right, I'm gonna buy them. I think these are Lee brand. The oh, pants say, the pants say regular fit, so. I personally don't like my jeans too skinny, but I also don't like them too loose. But these actually fit kind of slim, which is which is nice. They give my legs room to breathe, and yeah, I just don't I just don't like skinny jeans anymore. I can't do it. It's not comfortable. So these pair of pants, I got them secondhand on an app called Poshmark, but it's from Urban BDG brand. They usually only sell that at Urban. It flares out just a little bit at the bottom, and it has this bra hem. This is the one I actually like pairing with all my polos that I got, all the t-shirts. And I like to put on some sneakers or really you could put any shoe. It's really cute to dress it up with some boot booties as well. Staying with the pants wave, I got this nice pair of classic Dickies pants. It's a really nice gray. It's almost bluish and I've actually never seen that before. You know, like just going to Walmart looking at the Dickies there. I like that they say Dickies on the front and also on the back. It's a <laughs> mini pocket. I think they're the work pants or carpenter pants. No, they're not the oh. pants. There's something there for working. These are the thrift store and these are like perfect condition. Like I don't think like anyone wore them. So these are the pants I got from Urban Outfitters that I think would go perfectly with a lot of things, but also that top I had earlier that was my favorite, the elephant one. It is ivory colored. It has these two long pockets in the front and two butt pockets and then raw hem at the bottom. It gives like a, maybe a bohemian like free spirit vibe if I wear this with the shirt, just straight down. And then I can make it a little more modern if I wear it as a regular, like just like drape it over with a tank top and put that underneath. And I just like that it's like a nude color that I can kind of throw on with anything. We're not done yet. <laughs> oh, you thought we was done? Nah. So I picked up these olive green. I guess these would be classified as carpenter pants. They're from uh, Columbia Sportswear. They have a little pocket on the side, towards the back. And they say Columbia here. These are just some really cool pants. I love how loose fitting they are. They look really good just in the fall or like winter time. That's why I bought them. You can like wear like baggier clothing with it. So this is another thing I got from Poshmark. These are my favorite pair of shorts now and I don't really want to wear any other ones. These are Levi 560. I got it with the raw hem, uh, hem at the bottom. And I think after going to thrift, after thrifting so much, I know I could probably get this on my own now and cut it myself. But at the time, I didn't know, and so I caught these. And I don't regret it. I mean, come on, it's your basic one you can throw on during the summer with anything. All those tops I mentioned before, throw it on here with the little shoelace on as well. All right, next up, I'm about to run through like three pairs of track pants I bought. I, they're not in the trial clips, but yeah, I just wanted to go through them. First up. I got these navy blue Reebok pants. They say Reebok on the side right here. I just really like track pants, especially like being an athlete. It's really cool to throw on with some sneakers and a t-shirt. The next pair are these black Nike ones. I love the details on these. There's this little pocket right here, Nike on the zipper, sick. On the bottom right here, 
it also says Nike, which is another cool touch. I've never seen Nike in that like font, so yeah, that was really cool. And there's like a gray line going down it. I plan on wearing these in the winter time with like more baggery clothing, probably pairing with some Air Forces. It's gonna be really clean. And then lastly, another pair of Nike track pants, fleece pants, just a white line going down the side of it. The Nike logo is located at the top. I really like the colors on it. Yeah. I haven't really seen like track pants that color yet. It's like a cool blue. These are all pants I would wear as well, or will wear. <laughs> so this here is a skirt I got from Buffalo Exchange in Richmond. I love how stretchy it is. It's actually one I wore in my last video. It has these faux buttons here, and then you have a little slit here, and actual real buttons here, so you can't open it, but I personally think it looks a little awkward. Um, it has one little pocket in the front, and just a nice spring thing. And if you want to see how I styled it, you can check out that video. Keeping with the Nike trend, um, <laughs> I got these, I believe they're swim trunks actually, but I'm going to wear them like regular shorts. Just, just simple, navy blue, subtle Nike at the bottom right here. So this is another skirt I got a little while ago, and it's just a cute tennis skirt. My mom actually found this for me, and I was like, that is a cop for sure. I'm actually going to be styling this in a future video, so be on the lookout for that one. It has a blue and red stripe in the front, and I like how it's like also off to the side. And then they have this, there's like adjustable buttons here and a zipper. So next up, we have my absolute favorite pair of shorts right now. They are these olive green, I guess cargo shorts. There's so many details. I love the pocket. I love that there's a back pocket as well. And this little like belt thing at the top is just a really nice touch to it. This shade goes with so many of my tops. Honestly, I probably wear these like well, every day. If there's seven days in a week, <laughs> I probably wear it like five days a week. <laughs> my favorite part. Alright, ending on a very bright note for my clothing, I have these high-waisted cotton, I guess, jersey shorts. I thought it was going to be a lot looser when I had it, but I actually love the way it fits. It's very like soft cotton in the inside, it has a super cute wrinkly dog over here, and says Hoyas on his little headband. I'm definitely not using this for anything, but look how cute that is. Just a little pocket. So Urban had some really good deals over the weekend like we went over. Um, I was able to capitalize on those deals and get two bags. This is a fanny pack. I like to wear it over my shoulder. It's really nice and simple. I don't really want to wear, like, I know people have, like, the Supreme ones. They have, like, the Kappa ones. And I think those are cool. I just don't really want to wear, like, a big name brand. But I found this one, Kavu, Kavu. I don't really know the brand, but I really thought their logo was cool. And the light blue would just be cool to, like, pair with some of the t-shirts I own. I might put a patch over it. I haven't decided, but we'll see. Also, I got this Nike Tech Fleece bag as well. I think the yellow strap it has really like makes the bag pop. My last item is something I thrifted and I'm really proud of this, so cool. Uh, it's a clock, but it's not just any clock. I don't know if you can see it. It's a vinyl clock. So right now someone, they tore the front off one of their Beatles records and use it. Um, I'm probably gonna put something else. I don't know yet. I don't know what I'm gonna put yet. I'm like decorating my room right now. Maybe in a future video you'll see what I did with this clock, but mm -hmm. it's sick. Um, <laughs> and then lastly for me, I just got these super cute hair clips here that I'm wearing, super fat ones. And there's another one too, this colored, um, this like, they're like matte textured. And then these two little rainbow clips I got from Cali that I wore like a lot if you've seen my Instagram. Hair clips are a huge thing now and just hopping on the wave. So that concludes our super thick haul. <laughs> um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to Caitlin's channel. She's amazing. And yeah. I'm it. sure you'll see him again soon. So. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. Hope this inspired you to go thrifting for yourself. And I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> I'm just gonna, should I just do that? We have 
these Polo Ralph. Look, oh my goodness, so much dust on them. What did you do? Kate? What it? You're the one that's throwing your stuff everywhere, man. I don't know what you expect. Sweep the floor. I did actually, <laughs> but then you let King in. That's not and what he happened. Hakes everywhere. Also, his hair's. What do you mean? I All right. So first up. <laughs> You done? Oh my gosh, how dare you? Alright, so first... Stop, up. stop, stop, stop. It died. It's got hot again. Alright, alright, we'll do it again. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't, I don't want to talk over you. Shh. Oh. In the inside, there's also a little strap here to adjust it if you need to. I like to keep it nice and comfortable, so... We ain't doing none of that. <laughs> oh gosh. That's the shorts, man. Moving on to the bottoms. Yeah, let's do time check. So how do you want to outro? Outro, 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 out, outro, outro, outro.